Stay with us, we're exploding. The corner. I think I felt that hit all the way backstage. Ron Kruk, along with Deidre Hamaguchi, as well as Stephanie Dobbs. We're going to start with D. D. You graduated from Yale. You currently teach in New York City. I'm guessing you didn't get your degree in boxing from Yale. No, I have a BA in architecture from Yale. Very impressive. With so much going on in your life, how did you get into the sport of boxing? Well, I, I've done judo for over 20 years, and then I was looking for something else. And out, out of curiosity, I decided to try boxing. Okay, you ready to go tonight? I'm ready to go. All right, her opponent over here, Stephanie Dobbs from Oklahoma. You have a pretty unique story how you got into boxing as well. Talk to us a little bit about that. Well, my husband and I have always enjoyed boxing, and I try to just see how I do, make some money, lose that extra baby fat for my second baby, and I just took off from there. I didn't get knocked out the first time, so I figured I'd, you know, see how good I do. Mom's ready to go. It has to be nice to have the support of your husband in the ring as well. Oh, yeah, he's a manager, matchmaker, you know, he does it all. He's my strength in my corner. You ready to go tonight? Oh, yeah. I feel very confident, very strong. All right, guys, it's time for some equal opportunity as these two ladies are ready to go. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Ron. Yale graduate, Smitty. And, and, and you know, I, I, she's a Yale graduate. She goes into boxing and she's teaching in Brooklyn, so I don't know. Is that, is that a wise, uh, those wise moves? Well, hey, you know, every, to each his own, as they say. To each his own, but Hamaguchi and Dobbs, interesting matchup as Hamaguchi's looking for her first win here tonight. Hamaguchi, not taller than many people, but she has got a slight height advantage tonight over Dobbs. One pound weight advantage, slight in the reach. Hamaguchi, though, 38 years of age. Dobbs only 22. And as we mentioned, Hamaguchi looking for her first win, 0 and 3, 5, 7, and 1 with four knockouts for Dobbs. And we see Dee Hamaguchi making her way right now into the ring. And uh, she's actually going to have working her corner tonight, or, or working with her, her first professional opponent, Gracie Roca, fought a draw with Dee Hamaguchi in the first, and they became fast friends after that. She's also the daughter of Hector Roca, but we take a look at Dee here. She's coming off a six-round uh, unanimous decision loss to Vaya Zaganis. She fought Zaganis before that and, and lost a four-round decision. So she's really learning as she goes along, but you mentioned learning, and she must be very intelligent to be a Yale graduate. So Two very close fights, by the way, against right. Zaganis, and the first one was actually an explosion undercard fight, but the second one was a six-round decision loss that a lot of people thought she won. Stephanie Dobbs, good punching power. We see her over there. She's got four knockouts in her five wins, so I don't expect to see a lot of finesse. I expect to see a lot of winging from Stephanie Dobbs, trying to get her record back up to 500. But we're going to go up right now with the official introductions from our ring announcer, Mark Bureau. Ladies and gentlemen, Cedric Kushner Promotions and Caesars Tahoe presents this Everlast Heavyweight Explosion Special Attraction for two-minute rounds, female light flyweights. Your referee, once again, Victor Alegria. Introducing now the principals first in the red corner to my left, wearing the blue trunks, white trim, weighing in at 103 pounds. She is winless in four professional bouts with one draw and hails from Brooklyn, New York. Here is Hydra Hamaguchi. Hamaguchi. Her opponent in the blue corner wearing black trunks, pink trim, Weighing 102 pounds, pro record, five victories, seven defeats, one draw, and four wins coming by way of knockout. She hails from world famous Moore, Oklahoma. Here is Stephanie Dodds. Dodds, four two minute rounds, female light flyweights. Stephanie, I've given you a drink. Instructions in the dress rooms, and I expect you to girls to conduct self professional. This is right here, you're going to be considered low. This right here, after below, this will be low. Protect yourselves at all times, obey my commands at all times. Any questions from the blue corner, red corner? Okay, touch them up. Go to your corner. 
Okay, Hamaguchi coming <laughs> off an 11-month layoff, Smitty, due to eye surgery. Both Hart and Via Zaganis had to have eye surgery following their last fight. Well, hopefully that uh, won't be any impact on this fight. Also makes you wonder, again, Yale graduate, 38 years old, you had the eye surgery, why are you doing this? And they both, as we said, don't look for Stephanie Dobbs to come out with a feeling out round, and she comes out with a flurry. And Hamaguchi perhaps making a mistake trying to trade punches with her right now on the inside. Well, this one's scheduled for four, but it has all the appearances of a pier sixer between. Not a lot of defense, maybe some blood already from the nose, uh, redness around Hamaguchi's nose, under nose. Hamaguchi continues to stay on the inside and trade. Not a lot of D, Arnie. Not a lot of D at all. Hamaguchi known for her body attack, and right now not having a chance to really employ that. Allegria separates the fighters. See if Dobbs can keep up the kind of pace that she came out there in the first seconds here of this round, and she's already retreating a little bit. Well, these are two-minute rounds at the uh, ladies' fight, so that'll certainly help because they are throwing a lot of punches. Very fast pace here. And if they're going to be able to keep us up for four rounds, it's going to be who's in the best shape. Remember, we're in altitude up here, too, in Lake Tahoe. Neither of these girls trained up here. So the air's a little bit thinner than what they're used to. Tough round to call. This is Rockham Sockham right now, and Hamaguchi holding on on the inside. And good utilization of the right hand, the free hand, by Dobbs. It's uh, free, so she might as well whack away. And Hamaguchi signed with it. Hamaguchi definitely fighting Dobbs' fight here in the first. Nice outside combination by, by Hamaguchi. Uh, Hamaguchi has been stopped one time in her career. Dobbs has been stopped twice. So coming to the end of the first round, what a pace. Hell, they may have set a record for punch stat there for the ladies. That's a lot of punches in round one. Hamaguchi right now, you see Joe Souza, veteran cut man working in her corner. This is her first fight, though, without her regular trainer, Lennox Blackmore, in her corner. He couldn't make it tonight. Orlando Canasquillo stepping in for Lennox. See if he can adjust the style of Hamaguchi. I don't think that's the way she wants to fight Stephanie Dobbs. I gave uh, Dobbs that first round, Arnie, but it was very difficult to, to choose between the two. Both gals just uh, right in each other's face, throwing throwing punches. I thought uh, Dobbs did a little better. I agree with you. Round number two, scheduled for four in the explosion as we take a foray into women's boxing. And Di Hamaguchi not adjusting, Smitty. She's coming out and fighting Dobbs' fight again. And absolutely no head movement uh, by Hamaguchi, but a lot of arm movement. She's throwing a lot of punches, but she has, again, she's going straight back, and she's wide open for the right hand of Dobbs. Dobbs' corner said, just keep throwing punches. You can't miss. Not bad instruction, actually. Good jabs by Dobbs. See whether that altitude you mentioned will play into to this, because they are throwing a lot of punches. I know they're only two-minute rounds, but a lot of activity. Hamaguchi starting to get a little coy right now, starting to slip punches thrown by Dobbs. Nice combination by Hamaguchi, looking to try to turn things around in the second half of the second. Little fatigue starting to set in front Dobbs now. Punches a lot slower. Her volume's cut down considerably. Now getting beat to the jab by Hamaguchi. We're under a minute to go here in the second. What you like in Dobbs, though, is she has the, the real classic boxing stance. Every time she does pull out, she has her arms held high and in good position. Dobbs really starting to slow down and telegraph her shots, but can Hamaguchi take advantage at this point? Hamaguchi comes in leading with her head, though. Smitty, all wrong. And her head down low. She's trying to bob and weave a little bit. Snaps the head back at Dobbs. 
Good second half of the second round for Hamaguchi. Oh, and it, did you take a look at that right there? About Stephanie Dobbs looks totally rocked right now. It's, well, really, I think it's more fatigue, Arnie, than anything else. She's trying to fight through the fatigue. Good shot, good right hand to end the round. D. Hamaguchi, she's, look how heavy she's breathing right now, Smitty. We talked about the thin air up here. And it's, it's painful, too. You see Hamaguchi, round number two, on the attack, coming in, jab, right hand, right to the side of the face of Dobbs. And I gave that second round to that young lady right there. Evening things up. Much improved round for Diamaguchi. Nosebleed now coming from the corner, not from the corner, from the nose of Stephanie Dodds in the corner, trying to repair it as we get ready for the third round. Second half of a scheduled four rounder, Diamaguchi. She's in the blue and white, black and red. That's Stephanie Dobbs. Big second round, big finish. For D. Hamaguchi has break, 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 a lot of fatigue break, 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 starting break, break, break. to set in on go Stephanie Dobbs. And you scored that round for Hamaguchi. Hamaguchi have it, Diddy. You know, if, if Dobbs probably would like to take a little breather here, but Hamaguchi won't let her. She's just all over, and that tires you out as well. But you can clearly see that, that Dobbs is a painful expression from the fatigue. Dobbs probably came in here. To, oh, it's leather from Hamaguchi again. Dobbs coming in, probably seeing the 0-3 record of Hamaguchi and thinking this is going to be an easy knockout for me and really let it go out in the first round, and she's got nothing left right now. Hamaguchi continues to back up Dobbs. Really got her jab working nicely now, and that's what she should have done in the first round. Both of these young ladies are in great shape. To keep up this kind of pace, Arnie, and Hamaguchi, you mentioned she's 38 years of age. Lives at Gleason's gym, though, in Brooklyn. Never leaves the gym. Of course, it can't be easy teaching high school in Brooklyn, too, so it's got to be rough as well. Great. Slowing down a little bit, though. Both fighters starting to feel the effect of this pace, but right now, Hamaguchi looking the fresher of the two. And when Dobbs win, lose, or draw, Dobbs watches this tape. She's going to take a look at the pace she kept in the first round and know that she might have let it all hang out then and not saved anything. Finally, on the inside, the, the two take a, a little breather. Blood coming from the, the nose of Hamaguchi. Now she's got Joe Susie in the corner to help her with that. We come to the end of the third round. A little tougher one to call. What do you think at home? You see Hamaguchi right against the ropes, huh? lands a body right shot, hand. gets hit with a light shot, and then lands a right herself. Difficult to, to choose between the two that round. I, I called it even. Even round. Hmm. Fourth and final round. Smitty's got it all even. I've got Hamaguchi up two rounds to one. Hamaguchi in blue and white. Black and red, Stephanie Dobbs. Nobody's been on the floor. Dobbs controlled the first round with a torrid pace and has been paying for it ever since. But both corners telling their fighters to let it all hang out here in the fourth because they know it's close. Nice left lands by Hamaguchi. Not much left on the punches of Dobbs right now, Smitty. You know, the heads came together there. You can really see Hamaguchi really wants that first victory, first W in her career, trying so hard. Hamaguchi really starting to fight smart, 
midway through the second round. Dobbs, though, showing a lot of heart right now. She's got nothing left in the tank, nothing on those punches. Legs very wobbly, and it's another big shot, big right hand by Hamaguchi. It's a beautiful right hand by Hamaguchi. Look forward to throw that shot again. She's trying to. What's keeping Stephanie Dobbs up? Tremendous uh, heart, and see her legs are very wobbly, though. It's a good thing this is the last round. Just about 45 seconds to go in the fight. Hamaguchi's legs looking very fresh right now, just content to pepper jabs and stay on the outside, but allowing Dobbs to get in a combination there. Just when you think Dobbs is out of gas, she comes back with a little shot of her own. Nice right hand lead by Dobbs. Hamaguchi trying to get in position to throw that right hand. There it is. Frank, to back, to back, to back. As we mentioned, Dobbs has been stopped twice. But right now, taking some great shots from Hamaguchi and hasn't quit throwing on her own, but just doesn't have the same stings that she had back in the first round. Both girls looking to finish strong here as they hear the last 10 seconds. And it's over. Both girls raising their hands, but Smitty, how'd you see it? I have uh, Hamaguchi pulling it out by one point, definitely winning that fourth and final round. And that's with you calling the third round even. I had it first there. round going big to Stephanie Dobbs and then D. Hamaguchi, second, third, and fourth on my Ladies part, winning at 39-37. The winner, let's hear it once again for D. Hamaguchi. The second round in particular. Stephanie Dobbs. I thought it was very close, might have gone the other way. You had the third round even that tells you how close that round was. So, wouldn't surprise me if Hamaguchi gets the decision, but we might see a draw or even a split decision here. Great shot, though. You just saw Dobbs hanging on the, the, the ropes there. Totally jab, spent. Jab Hamaguchi much the better of the two in terms of stamina. And I'd have to say this is a case of Stephanie Dobbs seeing the 0-3 record of D. Hamaguchi. Not really taking a look at the opposition, that two of those losses come into highly touted via Zaganis, and thinking she's just going to put D. Hamaguchi out there easy. And, and Hamaguchi really, really wanting to get that first victory. Girls embracing over there. A lot of good sportsmanship in the female arena of boxing these days. A lot of camaraderie. They all know each other. And, no. and as we said, we had uh, Gracie Roca, the first opponent right of D. Hamaguchi working D's corner tonight. Right, you get some water now. You as they both train at Gleason's gym in New York, Brooklyn that is. And we see Mark Bureau's got the numbers, so he's gonna give us the official decision. Take it away, Mark. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the decision of the three judges at ringside. Judge Burke Clements scores it 39-37, Hamaguchi. <laughs> Well, we told you that we wouldn't be surprised if that happened. And one judge giving it 39-37 to D. Hamaguchi. The other two, flat even, 38-38. So D. Hamaguchi still in search of that first win. She will stay at 0-3. That's her second draw. Stephanie Dobbs will remain 5-7 and get her second draw of her career. And uh, coming up before our co-feature fight,